much, buddy. Now lift platform here. Way he's gone forever. Hey, Merrick, you hear that? Where'd she run off to? Just 
Destroy that fighter! Don't let that traitor escape! We're too late. Got to get back to the Mantis.
Where's Bogue? They're gone. He took his daughter and the compass. They used me as a distraction. Damn you! Go on, Jedi. Do it! Do it! Rather you than Lord Vader! Who is this? He sent Bode after our team. My crew. Cordova. Mm. Fear! Mm. They're all dead because of him! Come! Mm. This is what Bode wants! I know you are in pain, but this is not you! The Empire has taken enough from us! I will not lose you two! <laughs> Give the Inquisitors my regards. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm fine, buddy. You don't have to worry about me. that was it I don't know what that was if you feel it again you will tell me I will good droid try not to get Kel in too much trouble oh finally I was worried sick wait don't tell me he was fighting the entire base wasn't he? you are right okay Cal we got no boat we got no compass now tell me the truth I can take it we lost him. One compass remains. If you are hearing this, you know where I've left it. But if the compass is gone, do not despair. What's this? This isn't just the last goodbye. There is another way to reach Tanalor. Activate the arrays and align them to the coordinates embedded in this message. There's a control center here. If we align the arrays, we can create a flight path through the abyss. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You want me to fly the Manus through a ship-eating nebula using a tiny tunnel carved out by 200-year-old tech? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm in. Change your style.
You're all set, BD. Where to next? How can we be sure this experiment's gonna work anyway? We cannot. <laughs> so we start up some arrays, whatever those are, punch a hole in the abyss and then fly through? Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, kid, whenever you're ready. What are you still doing here? Just checking in. Don't you worry. By the time those arrays are activated, I'll have the Manus in top condition. Thanks, Grace. One second. Did I tell you my latest scheme? Don't think so. With the Empire here, thought I'd have a chance to turn a credit. Try selling useless scrap to a stormtrooper. I mean, how smart can they be? Oh. Turns out very smart. He immediately arrested me, smacked my head with the scrap, and threw me in a watering hole. Still getting into trouble, Turgle? Not exactly. In the watering hole, I found a shiny rock that the stormtrooper is sure to buy. <laughs> Hey, Cal. Where's your buddy at? Bode's gone. Sorry. I know you two were close. He's not dead. He betrayed us to the Empire. Huh. Sounds like you're on the hunt, then. That's right. Do what you gotta do. Just remember that vengeance breeds vengeance. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. It is. You killed some Jedi relic from the past, the one leading the Raiders. What was the bounty? No bounty. No bounty? You risked your life for free? Uh, I don't know. Not every reward is in credits. Besides, pretty sure I get free room and board here at Pylunes. Is that what your life is worth, Cal? Didn't take you for a gambler. Hey, Hunter. The Hexian's bloodhound, Vaslin Martz, has been sniffing around for you on the mountain. This guy's moving in with his stealth squad, so make sure not to get blindsided. Copy that. 
Watch my back, BD. Huh. Kinda starting to like that little droid. Kinda. <laughs> Can't beat what I've got. Oh my, I have something Cal wants. Barkeep, you look tired. Take a load off. I've seen some long faces. Yours is still the longest I've seen in some time. Am I that easy to read? No, you're positively inscrutable. I just happen to be an expert. Now what's on your mind? I lost some people close to me. Wounds still fresh. I'll bend an ear, if you're so inclined. If it wasn't for me, some friends of mine would still be alive. I doubt that. Most things in this galaxy are out of our control. What we can control is how we react to what the galaxy throws at us. Good advice, Monk. I'll try to follow it. It was good to see you. See you when I see you. So how'd you two meet anyway? I all started with this Merc crew I joined. Grok had been recruited a few months earlier. On account of my good looks. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Blubber. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... We took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or imprisoned. What the car, Grok? I was telling it. Kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh-uh. Point is, Grok and I realized that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. Chatter on the comms, kid. How you doing? Just reached the control center. I'll let you know if I run into any trouble. Welcome. I am Centauri Cree, the director of this experimental facility. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Grease, unless one of us is gonna stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turtle? <laughs> Maybe not Turtle.
All set. Troopers, what are they doing here? Right, brother. I'm going down. I'll die over here. Dog in this highly mobile. You won't get through. Head up and down, man. Don't let him escape. Buddy. Oh, 
Impressive. So, this is your kingdom. I work with many talented scientists. None as talented as you, Centauri. And yet we've reached an impasse. Perhaps he will bring me some much-needed luck. I can call the lift from here. I guess the platform is somewhere else. Start the arrays when we're in position. 
Well, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. Where are your master? Back to the Mantis, buddy. And go through the abyss. I'm not thrilled about it either. But it's the only way we're getting to Tantalor. Keep it up. Hey, Grease, you all right? Just, you know, a, a little distracted is all. I mean, I'm about to fly freehand into a stellar anomaly with an appetite for starships. <laughs> and I'll tell you, my palms haven't been this sweaty since... You can do this. Yeah, sure. I can do this. Oh, who asked you anyway? <laughs> 